Hey guys, before the video starts, just wanted to let you know that if you use the discount code 2019LUKEC on Truckfest's website, you will get 15% off your tickets. Uh, and I am going to the Peterborough show on the 5th and 6th of May and the Shepton Mallet show on the 31st of August and the 1st of September. So go to www.truckfest.co.uk, book your tickets, use my name, get 15% off. See you there. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, really do appreciate it. What a bloody morning it's been today. Oh mate, uh, seven o'clock right now, in the morning. I've actually been at work since quarter past two. <laughs> um, I, will, uh, I will describe to you my morning, bear with, I've just got to put my uh, registration number into this uh, machine here. Du -du 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 -du. Right, so, started work this morning at quarter past two, left the yard about half past two, obviously, daily checks and all that. Uh, had to be here at Southampton Docks between four o'clock and five o'clock. That was my designated uh, uh, time slot to come into the docks, between four and five. So, uh, left the yard at half past two, uh, and I got here literally four o'clock, uh, at the back of the docks, Pentalva, four o'clock. By the time I got, Towards the the, uh, the the like towards the main bit of the docks, I suppose. Um, I come across the train because there's a train track, uh, and it just so happened that the train happened to be crossing. Of course, it did. That was typical. So uh, not only was it crossing, but it actually stopped on the line as well. So I was actually there until quarter past four. Uh, um, and by the time I got to Pregate, which is just here. Uh, and then got to my transfer area, which is transfer area one. It was about 20 past four. So all in all, not too bad, 20 past four. Um, <laughs> didn't get a container off for about two hours. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was mad. I think it was, well, it was about an hour and a half. Um, yeah, it took absolutely ages to get the container taken off. And then um, once it did finally get taken off, I've got this one put on, that I've got now. Um, look at all these lorries look here in. It's been an absolute nightmare in the docks this morning. And um, I went to go get, to get the seal checked and the seal was getting declined. So I was like, oh, okay, no worries. I'll have to call, call the help desk and someone will have to come along and help me out. I called them at six o'clock, quarter past six. And it's now seven o'clock, gone. I was literally waiting for 45 minutes. Nightmare, absolute nightmare. Um, of course, there's all these trucks behind as well. They want to get their VVS, uh, their seal checked, and but they can't because me and one other bloke was uh, in in uh, the, in area one and three, so only area two was was free. So um, someone would park in area two, then someone would park in area one and three. Two would obviously then go off, and one and three, where me me and this other matey boy was, wouldn't move in because we our seals weren't valid. They just weren't working. So yeah, I've, I've contributed to causing chaos at the docks this morning, so apologies for that. But it's not my fault, like the seal was incorrect. So whoever put the seal number in, did not uh, put the right seal number in, and I was trying different combinations, taking away the last, letter, uh, the last number, taking away the first number, trying this, trying that, just to see if I can get a match, and it just would not match. And it didn't help that I had two seals on as well, so I was trying both of them, different, different orders. Um, yeah, just, just wasn't having it, was not having it. But anyway, someone luckily um, come along seven o'clock and um, quickly sort it out for me. So now, now I'm on my way. Not looking forward to my next job. I say my next; it's my first job. I've got a very heavy 20-foot box on. It's like 27 tons, so um, has to go smack bang in the middle of the trailer because obviously it's very heavy. Got to uh, evenly distribute it across all my axles. But it's not the weight I'm worried about, it's the destination I'm delivering it to. I am delivering it to a farm, and you are gonna see this. I've gotta go down some single track roads, very tight single track roads, that look, look like I'm not gonna have fun at all. There's no passing lanes or anything. The only saving grace for leaving the dock so late 
is that um, my booking time to be there was nine o'clock, which meant, you know, half past eight, I'm gonna be going through all these villages during rush hour traffic. Um, whereas now, hopefully by the time I get there, all that traffic will have gone. I mean, I'm still gonna get caught up in rush hour traffic, just not there. It's a, it's a two and a half hour drive to get there from where we are. We're going to, um, where are we going? I can't remember what the place is now. It's near Brighton. It's just a little village by Brighton. Black Boys, that's it. <laughs> Made me laugh. I, was, I got told, oh, you're going to the village of Black Boys. I was like, huh, what, excuse me? <laughs> um, yeah, there's, if you Google Black Boys um, on Google Maps, you might, you might get something else come up, but um, it's a little village near uh, Brighton. That's essentially where we're going. And then just off of that, there's like a tight, not tight, but there's like a right-hand turn just right next to it with like a wiggly line. Um, I'll probably screenshot it and put a couple of screenshots up now. But the lanes look very tight. Does not look lorry friendly. There are no weight limits. So that's a good start. There is a brown sign with a picture of a truck saying go this way to a farm. It's not the farm I want to go to. I've got to go to Silver Oak Farm. In fact, Google it right now if you like. Silver Oak Farm in Brighton or near Brighton by Black Boys. Um, that's where I'm going. It's not look lorry friendly whatsoever. The site itself does not look like there's enough room to turn around an Arctic. Because um, I've got a 20 foot box on, they might be assuming I'm bringing it on a smaller truck, for all I know. Um, and they might also assume I can shorten the trailer and then drive with it shortened. But with that weight on it, it's gonna be very hard to, well, I can shorten the trailer, no problem in a straight line. But like, I'm losing grip now because it's so heavy on the back. Shortening the trailer and then reversing and turning and moving is not going to be good with all that weight on the back tires. The, it will lift the trailer up, basically. The, the front of the trailer will lift up and lift the back of my truck up. I, I won't have any traction. That is what will happen. So it's going to be entertaining when we get there. So look forward to that. It's going to be coming up very soon. But for now, let's just crack on, make our way there. Not the best of starts. Started at quarter past two, it's now quarter past seven, three, four, five, six, seven. I've been at work for five hours and I've done nothing yet. <laughs> oh, the joys, oh, the joys. Can only work till five o'clock tonight as well. 15 hour shift and all that. Right, let's, do, let's get some miles under our belt. We've got 92 miles until we get there. Let's go. from Posingworth Lane, which is the single track. Uh, starting to worry now. I'm not gonna lie, anxiety levels are up. I am worrying. <sighs> and we are Fully loaded, there's vehicles coming already. Great. There's nowhere I can stop here. Yeah, we're fully loaded. We're, we currently weigh 44 tonnes. We want to stop on the bend. I can't get round you on the bend, mate. You're going to have to pass me here. No way I would have got around him, I don't think. Not on a bend. So, <laughs> good start, good start. Turn in, two vehicles straight away. And that is very, very wet grass on the left. I do not want to be touching that grass. Are 
we just keep coming around. Yeah, I don't want to be touching that glass because I just slide on that. Yeah, this bit isn't too bad actually. But this is, I don't think this was the worst bit. Not at all. There's more to come. That's a very low hanging tree as well. Okay, now that uh, truck sign is now turning right. <laughs> So I think they're expecting trucks in there, but not any further than this. This is going to be fun. We're still over a mile away. We've got a mile of this. I don't, I don't want to be going on any of this grass. I'll just sink. Fully loaded, 44 tons, pretty much. Truck and trailer with a box on is about 12 ton, and the box is 27 ton. 39 ton. And we've got to get out here as well, obviously. You can change gear, you know, truck. That's low, very low. See, if I went in there, the container would just push me and slide me. I'd get stuck. Okay, lay by here, like pass the place, that's good. One more mile to go. Bloody sun is not helping. Now we've got a hill to deal with. Don't lose traction, for God's sake. Okay, we've got some speed up, that's good. Low trees. <laughs> so, when we leave, I might leave with the trailer shortened, just so it gives me a better chance of getting around people if I do see people later on the way back out. But also, in a second, I've got to make a right hand turn. And it does look like it could be dodgy coming from the other way. That is a very low tree. Ah, they're good. Not good. He's gonna have to go back. There's literally a crossroads 80 yards behind him. It's where we need to turn right. I don't know what that car's doing. This is the turn that looks tight on the way back out. You, 
keep coming, mate. Fucking hell. They're like, oh, what's the truck doing down here? Yeah, wow. Well, your farm needs deliveries. <laughs> Nearly there. Got to do one more right hand turn. Now that's a uh, tight road as well. <laughs> They're all tight round here. And then it's just on the right. So hopefully we uh, don't cause any more chaos. If I, if I come from the other way, come this way, I don't think I would have made this turn. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure I wouldn't have made this turn. So I had to come in this way. All clear. Definitely coming out with a short trailer. Let's just hope I've come to the right place. You better stop because I'm turning right. Thank you. Where do we want to go? Oh, there's a ramp there. That looks good. I'm going to reverse onto that ramp. Just got to mine this gate. I guess that's Christina. You're not going to come to me then? Ah. <laughs> I got a delivery to someone called Christina May and uh, that, she looked like she was running towards me so that's why I stopped. But there's a ramp just behind me over here so I'm just going to reverse over here out of the way. At least people can get in and out. This is where I need to be. All right. Wasn't too bad in the end. Anyway, let's go make some acquaintance. Okay, situation report. So we got here. Um, we are reversing onto this um, ramp, as I saw when I come in. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get out because that's quite a sharp left-hand turn. But. I am going to keep the trailer shortened, so that might help. Um, if not, I might have to drive all the way up there, turn around and then drive out, but we will try and do it this way to begin with. And we will be driving out with a shortened trailer, no question about it, it's just too tight. Um, and then I'll probably stop at services or something and re-lengthen it. Uh, when we got here originally, there was a bit of a problem. Um, as I went back, because it's so heavy, it lifted up the front of the cab. Um, and then the suspension sort of lowered and it did something to the trailer so it wasn't the trailer wasn't level it was more sort of like that so I couldn't get it up but it was ever so slight and I didn't notice I was trying for ages to get it up and it wouldn't go up and in the end I was like let's try and hide the suspension of the of the cab so the cab's here lifted it up so the trailer was like more straight and then it went back but I did have to ram it back just to get it in so that was interesting um, and then the pallets um, that they got like really sort of thin so the forks only just go through and by the time they lift it up a little bit the very top of the pallet is scraping against the top so um, it's not the easiest to get out either it's only a 20 foot and we've been here quite a while uh, been here an hour now so what can we say uh, <laughs> I can only work until five o'clock and I got I got a text saying um, 
can I go pick something up for four? And I was like, well, I can only work till five. Yeah. And they've said, keep them updated. So uh, as soon as I leave here, I'll have to let them know. But it is a two and a half hour drive back. Currently, we wouldn't even get back to two o'clock. So I can only do like three hours work by the time I even get back. So it, it's pushing it. Definitely is pushing it. Right. We are done. Uh, we just need to get out, but I've got to line myself up first. It's giving me the, the best chance of getting out in one go. So we just got to budge over to the right hand side because we were on the left hand side. Now hopefully a bit of luck, we should be able to get out in one go. Or not. Pretty much got to jack myself, jack knife myself in a sec. We got it, we got it. There is someone watching me on the left as well. Ah, it does say trucks turn left there, look. So it's a good job I didn't come this way. I say change gear. <laughs> right, we are a hundred miles away from where we need to be. Uh, it's over two and a half hours. And we've got to make a phone call as well in a sec. Just say we're on our way to find out what we're actually doing next, but I'm gonna wait until I'm out of all this first before I make the phone call. I'm glad I've got no weight on coming out of here. Wheel spinning because all the weight is on the back of the trailer. But I've got to have it on the back. Just so I can get around this next bend. And then when I can when I can stop, I'll stop. So far, so good. Might have a car behind me, I'm not sure. No, we're looking good. Right, this was the left turn that I was worried about while being full length. This is why I've shortened the trailer for this turn. Yeah, we're looking good. Looking good. Just got to lengthen the trailer now. We need to find a suitable place to do that. There was a couple of laybys actually. Yeah, there was a couple of laybys just outside the village. So I'll probably stop at one of those laybys. Unless there's a nice wide space somewhere down here. But we're not out of the woods yet, literally. Got to get out of here. Hopefully we don't come across another truck. That would not be good.
Okay, situation reports. We are heading back to the company who we do the work for to swap trailer over. We've got to get loaded with a, well, we've got to swap trailer onto a curtain side of trailer. Then we've got to go and get that trailer loaded. And then we've got to make our way over to Colchester. But I need to be parked up by five o'clock. waiting for this roundabout to clear up. Yeah, I've got to be parked up by five o'clock uh, this afternoon. Um, and if they take ages loading the trailer or anything like that, then it could really mess me up. No idea where I'm going to park. Um, I, I'm not paying for services. Uh, and it's all motorway, all the way there, M3, M25. So I can't really get too far unless I find an industrial estate. The only industrial estate I know of is in Basingstoke, when I used to deliver to Buildbase and uh, the Green Company, and I'm still not going to say who they are. <laughs> so yeah, we need to go and get this trailer taken off, get everyone put on, then go to Eastleigh and get loaded, um, and then we'll see what time it is, because like I said, I've got to be parked up by five, so it depends on what time I get loaded. We'll see. It's going to be a long day today. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. I am going to vlog tomorrow as well, so it's going to be another two-day two day vlog. Huh. Right, let's go get this trailer. Okay, so we are just leaving White Parish. Bumpy roads. Yeah, so we've got to go to Weasley. Uh, I get... 15, yeah, 15 pallets put on. <laughs> 15 whole pallets. Uh, and then we've got to take them um, to somewhere slightly further than Colchester. It's Liston. Yep, Liston. Which is a little bit further up. Uh, and it could quite well take four hours to get there in one trip, like just there. So, um, yeah, I definitely don't think I'm coming back down here tomorrow to get a container sorted out. I think I'll be going back to the yard with this trailer on and then come down Monday, I think. But we'll uh, obviously have to see closer to the time. But yeah, we just got to get these pallets on now and then I need to figure out where I'm actually going to be stopping for the night. Because at the moment I've not got a clue. No clue at all. Okay, so immediately after coming out, there's been an accident. These guys in military uniform appear to be helping out. Come on. Oh, nasty smash. Not quite sure how that would have happened. It's just people slowing down to have a look. Like, I'm full throttle. I'm full throttle going past it because it's just going to cause an accident if you're just having a look. If you're just gormlessly looking, people behind. And I've got a massive gap between me and the cars behind me. There is no reason why there should be a big gap. Like, they should be able to catch me up. I'm a lorry. <laughs> I go 50 miles an hour and they're just not catching me up. Sorry, ran over. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Right, now we've got to attempt to turn around. I'm hoping we can make this. Stretching my Susie's. You will arrive at your destination at 1950. There we go. Looks good. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a four hour drive to where we got to go. Um, I can only drive for an hour and a half before needing the break, and in an hour and forty minutes I've got to be parked up. Uh, plus four, yeah, an hour forty. So. I can only really do an hour and a half driving. 
before I find somewhere to park up. But at the same time, the earlier I park up, the earlier I can start. Got to be there for nine o'clock. It takes four hours to get there. So if I were just for example, parked up right now, half past three, I could start as early uh, as half past midnight. Uh, it takes four hours to get there, so four o'clock, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got five hours to spare. Are you actually going to come down? I need to go left. Cheers for waiting. Did not make that easy for me. I've got to be on the right hand side to get around here. You could have just waited. Never mind. Oh, I've been spotted twice. <laughs> While here. Two people come up to me and said hello. They like my content, so that's nice. Thank you very much if you were one of them. Sorry I didn't take your name. I was in a bit of a rush trying to ratchet everything up. Like I said, I've got 15 pallets. Uh, and they are all uh, ratchet strapped down. Nice and secure. Which is what we want to hear. Right. Clear to the right. Clear to the left. Clear to the right. Clear to the left. Always double check. You never know. Right, let's crack on. Uh, find somewhere to park up for the night. Right, so, situation report. Uh, Kev T has recommended a lay-by. Uh, and I know of this lay-by. I've passed it many times before. So that's where I'm going to stay. So I've had to come off the M3. It's gone on the A31. I've gone five, going five miles out my way. Turn around, come back. Uh, but worth saying it's not five miles up and five miles down, it's five miles in total, give or take. I think it's more like six. About six miles out my way, so it's three miles up, three miles back. Um, yeah, we're gonna stay in a lay-by on the other side of the carriageway, so we've got to go down, turn around, come back. Hopefully it's, uh, there's a space. But I've gone past it many times before because I've always gone this way to deliver to like Farnham and um, Alton and things like that. So yeah. We're about to come past the lay-by in a second. <laughs> the roundabout where you turn round at to get back onto that lay-by, uh, they closed the, the, the end exit to get back. They got a road closure there tonight, so they, they've already closed it off at 10 to four in the afternoon, I don't know why. So, uh, the situation we got now is we are gonna continue on this A31, because uh, I used to come down here all the time and do deliveries to Farnham. We are gonna stop in a lay-by where I once made a video where I walked up a dark alley. Do you remember? Walked up a street and stuff and it was dark and I was acting like it was all scary. It was actually pretty scary. Um, we're about 15 minutes away from there. So we're gonna park in that lay by. Uh, and then in the morning, rather than having to come all the way back on ourselves, we're just gonna continue down on the A31 and join up to the M3. So when I was in Southampton this morning, uh, this morning, when I was in Southampton just now, I was four hours away from where I needed to be. Currently, with 15 minutes of traffic, it's three hours and 40 minutes. So that's like three hours and 25 minutes away. So I've, I've made up 35 minutes. Pretty good. Considering I've only been driving 35 minutes. <laughs> so would you believe it? I've got 35 minutes closer in 35 minutes. So yeah, um, we're gonna continue on this route because it's gonna take just over three hours to get there then tomorrow morning first thing in the morning oh no i'm sure we'll get caught in some traffic at some point gonna aim to get there for eight o'clock it is booked for nine o'clock um because i may need to get fuel on the way as well and if i do get caught in traffic then uh no problemo so we're just going to continue on this route we're about 11 miles away from from the lay-by hopefully it's clear um i would have hoped so if not, we'll just have to continue until we find another lay-by. I'm sure there's plenty of lay-bys on the A31. Right, we're here. Forgot to, to uh, get the GoPros to film. Um, engine off. So yeah, we're uh, just parked in a lay-by look on the A31. So this is where we are for tonight. Uh, and then we just uh, 
head straight on down there for uh, for the delivery for tomorrow morning. So when we left Southampton, uh, it was four hours away. Um, currently, with a 33 minute delay on the roads, it's three and a half hours. So in the morning, first thing in the morning, should be three hours away. So we gained an hour, that's good, that's what we wanted. And not paying for services. Get in, right, card out. Um, obviously we don't get any hot food tonight. <laughs> that is not the end of the world. We are finished at quarter past four. Lovely jubbly. So we can start as early as five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, quarter past one. We can start as early as quarter past one, but we've got to be there for nine. We're wanting to get there for eight o'clock. We're three hours away. So that's uh, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah. So we need to be on the road by five o'clock. That's, um, that is my target. Be on the road for five o'clock. So that's going to be it for today. I will see you in the morning. Five, eight, two. In the morning, yeah. So, see you in the morning. Set up three hours now. It is the next day. Um, we've just filled up with Fior and AdBlue. So um, we're now good for the rest of the day. We, were, we had no AdBlue basically for at least half the day yesterday. <laughs> so the, um, the engine light come on last night just as I was parking up, which means it goes into limp mode. Um, so I, I don't have 480 horsepower basically. So it takes a little bit longer to build up speed. Luckily, I'm not fully loaded either. I've only got 15 pallets on, haven't I? So all good there right so um we've been driving for a couple of hours obviously it was too dark this morning to do any face cam action talking uh which is why you've only seen dash cam footage so far but we are on our way to uh liston is where we're going it's it's not quite colchester it's slightly further up than colchester but guess what more country lanes <laughs> um i had a look at where i'm actually going properly yesterday um when I parked up because I just headed towards that direction but now I actually know exactly where I'm going where I'm delivering to and um, yeah I gotta go it's a little village and I gotta go down some country lanes again basically a little bit like yesterday almost exactly the same as yesterday um, so if we meet any oncoming vehicles could be interesting but I do think there's some more passing like passing places so I'm not too worried about this one but it, it could still be interesting. Got to go past a small church and everything. Called, we've got to go on a lane called School Lane. That never sounds good, especially considering our ETA is half past eight when people are going to school. So uh, actually I've never thought of that until just now. So now I'm starting to worry a little bit. <laughs> there could be cars parked up along these lanes and I could struggle getting in. Uh, never mind. Uh, it's booked in for nine o'clock. Uh, I aim to get there for eight o'clock obviously we had to stop and get fuel and traffic as well so now our ETA is half past eight. I am now wondering whether it's worth backing off a little bit just so people can drop their kids off at school and then I get there for nine but now nah, I risk it. It's, uh, there's there's a, double, a double road and then it goes into a single track lane for about a mile so I'll have to judge it based on, uh, based on when I get there basically. But yeah let's crack on, only got 15 pounds to get off Still not entirely sure what I'm doing after this. They, um, 
there was a there was a suggestion that there was no more work to do and that I would be going straight back home from here um, which would be nice but if not then I've got to go back down to Southampton swap trailer then go get the um, container taken off then get another one put on and I could be finishing late tonight if I got to do that so I'd, I'd like to go home personally but it's down to them it's four hour drive back done three hours today four five six seven eight nine so actually it could be pushing it for uh, to get home again so we'll see we'll see I'll do some working out when I uh, get to my destination yeah I'm still an hour away so I'll be on over three hours by the time I get there it's four hours back seven leaves me two hours left so it's pushing it we'll see right catch you in a bit Right, here we go then. Just seen a sign saying there's a weight limit up here. <laughs> That's a good start. You're going around, but I will wait just so I can take up more room. There we go. Uh, seven half turn weight limit, half a mile. I oh, will turn off in 800 yards. Right, yeah, so this, this could now get interesting. It's quite tight back there actually, where we um, just come through that little village. I I started recording a little bit late. Um, there were some narrow places you had to get past and quite busy actually with, with Arctics. So um, I wasn't expecting it to be that busy down here. It doesn't bode well for these single tracks. Never mind, right, we're turning left where that car is down there. Flashing at me. When I am doing 38 when you flashed, it's a 40. Oh, now it goes into 30. Du, 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 du. Right, so yeah, there's a weight limit straight on. There's a weight limit right, but we're going left. We can't go left with those cars there, though. Can't go left with any of these cars here. There's four cars, two more. There we go, all clear. Single track lanes, here we come. Actually, this is the good bit. <laughs> this is fine at the moment. Come on, you got all that room, mate. Budge over. Looks like we've got to go over some sort of water thing here. I got a giveaway to oncoming vehicles. Yeah, something coming. Holy moly. That's gonna be tight on my rear end. I over exaggerate, it was fine. <laughs> I panicked too much. <laughs> that was fine, no, no, nothing to worry about here. Ah, oh, this is still the good bit. Oh my gosh. Weight limit down there, on the left. Any vehicles coming? No, we're good. But the, the road's now about to split off. So like I said, this is the good bit. Double lanes go left, we're going right onto a single track but only for about a mile. Again, there's no, nothing to say trucks can't go down there. There's no weight limits. Uh, all the weight limits are um, other, other roads, but not the ones that we're taking. Plus, Liston is the place we're going to. 
You wouldn't get me and a car past each other on these roads. Not even on these wider bits here. It'd struggle. There's something coming. Is that a truck? It looks like a truck. I'm flashing him to say, come on down. See if he can pass me here. Come on, then. Let's go, mate boy. Come on. Oh, he wants to talk. Hello, mate. What's your YouTube channel? You are? You're right. I'm vlogging right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What up, <laughs> What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Matt. Matt. Come on, mate. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you buddy. Yeah, keep an eye on this weekend, it'll be up. Right. <laughs> See, you later. See you later, buddy. See you later. There we go. Oh, yeah, so, hello, Matt. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Got to go one more mile. Yeah, I think it's the right turn here. I know where we're going, we're turning right here. Well, apart from the one truck that Matt there was driving, we didn't come across any traffic, which is good. I think we might need to stop at security, I'm not sure. Is there anybody in there? Uh, no, I don't see anybody in there. Right, we're delivering to Simply Corton Logistics, J Building. Like, to me, it just looks deserted. There's a few people here. There's a way bridge there an old Weybridge. None of these buildings look like they're used. Goods Inquiry. Yeah, it's all shut down, nothing there. This is all quite airy, isn't it? Unit one, Scania building, or whatever it was. I don't think it was Scania, it was something else. There's lights in there in engineer's store. I don't want to drive too further in case I've got to reverse all the way out, so it looks like I'm going to have to go for a walk and uh, find out more. I can turn around where I am, do a 180. Uh, it's not booked in for nine anyway, so it's another half an hour before it's even booked in. And I've come into some sort of abandoned industrial estate. Like, there's just... Everything's abandoned. There's a, there's a few cars here. Everything's boarded up. Closed buildings. Like there's cars here, but it just looks abandoned. That's who I'm delivering to. There's no one in here. Hello? The lights are on, someone's got to be here. There you go, buddy. Paperwork and pen. Lovely, lovely. 
Well done. Down here. Yes, please, mate. Yeah, just there. And obviously one for you, one for me. Right, we're done. We are tipped. Let's get on out of here. So, the guys here are insistent that the place is haunted. Um, they just told me that when they first moved into the warehouse, it's completely empty. And um, the next day they come in to obviously put their stuff in. And uh, apparently there was like a really old 1950s football right in the middle of the warehouse and it wasn't there before. So uh, they are actually convinced that the place is haunted. Why is there no entry sign there? I think that's saying go left and around. Part of me was going to be like, yeah, whatever, I don't care, but just in case, let's go left and around. Yeah, this place just looks proper old. Abandoned building after abandoned, that's a canteen there. This must have been some sort of major factory or something, I don't know. If anybody knows what it is, let me know, it's Liston. It's just, it just looks abandoned. On Google Images, this security guard was in operation. The, the gates were closed and there was a guard, I think. <laughs> Maybe there isn't, I don't know. There's a security camera there, so... It's obviously tracking some people. No drivers, please leave the site by Ronbridge Lane. Do not use Liston Lane as this has a weak bridge with a weight limit of three tonnes. Okay, which way is Rodbridge Corner? I don't know which way is which. Let's have a quick look on my phone. It doesn't say on Google Maps or my sat nav what the lanes are called, so how am I supposed to know? I'm going the way I come in. It didn't collapse when I was loaded, so it's not going to collapse when I'm empty. <laughs> That's my uh, my reasoning behind it. Right, so uh, let's see if we can get all the way out without being stopped again. Matt, I do remember your name. Let's go, go, go. They keep saying check fuel supply, even though I literally just filled up with fuel and it still says I've got a full tank. So far, so good. So, um, I should probably say, I'm done for the day now. Uh, I do not have to go back down to Southampton. Um, I think it's got something to do with the Chinese New Year. It's quite quiet down there. Apparently half of Southampton is parked up, apparently. But um, no, my, my ETA back down to Southampton would be like one o'clock, half past one. And I'd need a 45 minute break, so I'd be ready by two o'clock. And the ship, I do have a container ready, but the ship, is on the port, but it's not unloaded yet, so it's not going to be ready until Saturday or Sunday. Um, and obviously, I need it today, so there's no point going back down Southampton, White Parish, dropping off this trailer, swapping over for my Skelly trailer, getting the container that was on there already taken off, and then um, uh, going to get a new container because the new container won't be ready. So and there's no point doing all that and then coming back up to Swindon for no reason, so I'm going straight back to Swindon from here. Oh, that sign does say weak bridge, 500 yards. Maybe this is the weak bridge. Well, I just went over it loaded. I didn't know. Was there a weak bridge sign on the way here? I didn't see one. 500 yards, that sign said. I would say we've done more than 500 yards now. So maybe it's not talking about this bridge. I'm not an expert on yard, yard distance, but we've done more than 500 yards. I swear we have.
I'd say that this bridge was probably more like a thousand yards. Never mind, we can't turn around now, so we go and cross it again. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Luke is in trouble. <laughs> M. Jordan. Yeah, so as I say, we're going straight back to Swindon and uh, park it up for the day and for the, for the week. Good times. Yeah, no, that, that bridge is not the one we went over earlier because we've done way more than 500 yards, so nah, not that one. That must have been where they were doing those road works, said diverted traffic. There must have been another bridge over there or something. It's the only other bridge I can think of because from where that sign was to this bridge over here, it's more like half a mile. It's about half a mile, not bloody 500 yards, nearly saw there. Never mind. Anyway, we're on the good roads again. I say good roads, I've still got to go put through that um, little town in a sec. And there were some tight, tight, um, tight, can't get the words out. There was, the roads turned into quite tight roads. I've checked my fuel supply, it's fine, stop telling me. Right, my right away. There's a car coming. There's no, there's no sign on this bridge to say it's a weak bridge. So it must have, must have been that other one, or must have been another one. There's no sign at all. The only signs I can see is um, weight limit ahead, which is left and straight on, but we're turning right. <coughs> is that van gonna keep coming? No, you stop, thank you very much. My fuel supply's fine, stop telling me. <laughs> Bit low. You keep coming. It makes it harder to pass me on a bit, and people don't understand this. If he stopped there in that layby, would have been fine. You keep coming around a bend, and you'll notice that the trailer just gets closer and closer to you. I let him through. Ooh. Accidentally left my high beam on. Right, we're turning right here. Ba, 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 ba. See, I've had a bit of experience with some tight roads, haven't I? I'm not going to get too close to the left because the trailer might swing out and hit the building. Stop! Clear to the right at the moment. Not clear to the left. Clear to the left, clear to the right. Clear to the left. Still clear to the right. I think I said this earlier, I always check at least twice. Oh, look at all those barrels. Right, so we're slowly making our way back. Uh, we're on the M4 currently, uh, just past Reading. So it took it was about three and a half hours to get to go all the way home from where we were between three and three and a half, something like that. We um, obviously stopped at the services, relieved ourselves, uh, just chilled out for a little bit because I'm in no rush to get back. What is up with that? It's got. The house is on the back of it. <laughs> what is that? That is cool. Careful, yeah, I don't hit it on the way past. Yeah, so uh, we stopped at the services, just chilled out for half an hour. Didn't need to, didn't need a break or anything like that. I just wanted to chill out, relieve myself, and uh, yeah, so we can just come back comfortable, comfortably. So yeah, we're just around the corner now from. Uh, from the yard pretty much, another hour to go, we'll be there. And we'll be done for the day, and for the week. So, I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching this video. Been down some tight lanes. Been down some very tight lanes. Saw some people we, uh, who, re who recognize me, so shout out to all of you guys, including Matt as well, who I saw today. And yeah, it's been a, been a good couple of days, nice early finish for a change. Been in the yard by two o'clock, got to wash the truck. Uh, I'll be home by three, so that's very good. Very good indeed. So thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it. Uh, stay safe, drive safe, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.